The number one type of bullying that we are seeing now with young girls is social exclusionary behaviors. For example, if we have a group of five students that are sitting in a circle, they're eating their dinner, checking their text messages, and another student walks in, even if the students on the floor are not talking about the student that just walked in, the conversation will stop and it will create an impression that the student who just entered the area is somehow on the outside. Uh, sometimes that's not intentional, sometimes it is intentional. If there's a group of students sitting on the floor and they don't expand the circle to allow somebody else into the group and the student who's just joined the area still sits on the outside, they're not invited to be in, that's a type of social exclusionary behavior. So sometimes it's not intentional and it creates a perception that it exists. Sometimes it is intentional and either way, it is definitely hurtful to the person who's walking into the area and is not invited to be a part of the group that's sitting down.